Hey, it's Matthew McAllister here. I'm in a very good mood this morning, and welcome to my latest vlog. So, on a really sunny, positive, happy feeling day, I think it's sometimes a good idea to think about the challenges that we have in front of us as musicians. And on my last vlog, there was a comment made by a guy called Ryan, and he asked um, all about difficulty and overcoming challenges um, as a musician. And it got me thinking, you have to treat challenges with a lot of positive energy and a lot of good feeling so that you can really overcome them. And Ryan asked specifically about an issue I have with my middle finger. So my middle finger was damaged when I was quite young and the tip of the finger actually came away, which means I don't use this finger when I play guitar. I really seldom, seldom use it. Um, it sounds really bad, it's the wrong height, it's the wrong angle and it doesn't really work. Um, it doesn't have a finger tip and the nail doesn't grow the same way all my other fingernails grow. So that's a real challenge for someone whose profession is playing the classical guitar. We want all of our nails to be nice and even, all have the same sound and all address the string at the right angle. So this got me thinking. Ryan's question on my vlog was all about overcoming that hindrance, that disability. Well, I never really thought about it as a, as a negative. I thought about it as something I had to avoid and I had to come up with other ways to get around it, to make it work. I had to use different aspects of my technique, I had to overuse some fingers, I had to develop interesting techniques where I jump quickly from string to string with one finger. Very unorthodox, and if you looked in a technique book it would be things that you shouldn't do, things that a teacher would say, that's a bad idea to do. But then if they looked at your hand and realised you were avoiding using a finger for a particular reason, then they would understand. The trick was not to let it get me down, not to make it frustrate me when there was a piece that really needed that uniformity of stroke and maybe needed that middle finger. Um, I would just maybe try and find another piece to play or find another piece of repertoire that would fulfil the desire in me to play that type of music. Tremolo was a, was a good example, I don't really play much tremolo music, but I find a lot of beauty in many of the other pieces in the guitar repertoire, so I'm not sort of feeling sad that I can't play tremolo pieces. And that's the key, not letting these things be. Overcoming challenges can present themselves in so many different ways. It can be rejection at auditions, rejection at competitions, not making it past the first round, um, applying for scholarships or awards and facing rejection. So many successful artists face rejection and adversity at all different times in their career. In 1919, Walt Disney was fired from the Kansas City paper, the newspaper in Kansas. He was fired because his editor said he lacked imagination and he had no good ideas. Now, it would have been interesting if Walt Disney ever went back to that editor to let him know who he became and the great career he had. Even the Beatles were rejected at the beginning. Decca Records rejected the Beatles because they felt like guitar groups wouldn't catch on. They, they, we were done with guitar-based groups. Now look at what happened to the Beatles. So. It's not just in music, it's not just in Hollywood or things like that. Great authors, J.K. Rowling, how many attempts did she have at getting her books to publishers before she became an incredible success with the Harry Potter novels? For me, if you have goals and you have dreams, you have plans with your music, with your art, with whatever it is, stick to them. Don't be knocked back by a little bit of criticism or a rejection. Take the advice that you get from good teachers, take the criticism that you get from colleagues and friends, take that on the chin. So anyway, I'm feeling in a good mood today. The sun is shining, Glasgow's looking pretty. I think it's time to do some work. See you soon.